We're going to show a third door for the impulse control and door dashing. It goes out. We don't have to use a leash. It goes out back, so she's going to potty. And we're working at all three doors since they don't transfer to another. She doesn't have to have a leash on. I don't have any treats in my pocket. You can see so she doesn't think that. So I'm just going to tell her, Poppy, would you like to go outside for potty? That's a good girl. Just look outside, turn the light on, make sure nothing's out there. Okay. I want her further away from the door so she can't put her put her head right in it really quick, right? She made a move to the door. We immediately close it. We didn't say anything. We're gonna just step into her, move her back. It's raining, so she's having second thoughts. Okay, go. I'm not asking for her to reorient to me going out, but you see she does. She goes out, she stops, she looks at me. She wants me to come out with her. She doesn't want to go out without me. And that would be working, say, if there were a deer, a skunk, a raccoon out here that she might want to go chase. She'd come out, she looked at, looked at me, and... That was just an automatic behavior. One more door. Work all the doors, be consistent every time she goes out of a door. You can do it like a lot of times I do it um, when we go up the stairs of the basement in case the cats are there so she doesn't chase the cats. So we do it going up the stairs but not necessarily coming down the stairs. You kind of pick and choose if you're like indoors and want certain doors but every outdoor everything like the crate or the x pen type of situation and it all works impulse control could save her life